Yo, 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 what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, man. It is your boy Mazio here and we're back with another Clash of Clans video and guys, on to this video, we're actually going to be jumping on to my town hall 12 and guys, it's a bit rushed, okay, but I'm doing this for you, man, okay, I'm bringing you a new strategy for town hall 12 and it's going to be blizzard lolo, but let's jump to town hall 12 and let's see this strategy. All right, we're here on my town hall 12 and guys, let's just take a look at this strategy. I don't have a lot of things maxed out in town hall 12. You can see already my invisibility is low, my, you know, headhunters, ice columns, every, everything is nearly low and also this strategy, it's weird with normal wall breakers but if you have the max like not max but like level 7 and above wall breaker go and act activate the super wall breaker and it can take two just count one minion out of your army i'm gonna have all, and this army link and also i'm gonna try to put the other army link as well for you so you can copy it easily but interesting thing about this blizzard is the clan castle take a look at that we have eight goblins one wall breaker and three super wizards not four because well you don't you're not gonna have any other like normal like troops so you can activate the bombs but we're gonna go and talk about that in the attack so without further ado let's just jump into it all right we're on here on this base and guys this is a typical town hall 12 base kind of as i you know kind of like got to know it but what is the plan the plan is always so simple go for the town hall drop the hound for an air defense and the blimp behind it with one loon always just drop one loon for the defense which is super close to the outside you're just gonna easily take it out and now we're just gonna land the blimp invis and rage you have the time guys when you land the blimp you can go and drop the invis afterwards even like the, with the small weight you're gonna even see how much i wait for a longer time and then drop the rage after you drop the invis so now your one wall breaker on the race but will actually destroy any wall now this is where we go to the second phase you want to sui sui means well sending your heroes basically inside the base in this scenario we're gonna follow the right side and send everything to the top side with one ice golem hopefully everything will follow together also the ice golem is lower level so it's gonna like not stall too much my king and queen are lower levels as well but you have four freezes what are those for? I'm gonna explain. It's for the multi infernos and for heroes. Use the freezes with the heroes a lot of the time. It's gonna work so nice. I'm gonna wall break in case my king goes back, but I don't think he will. So I'm just gonna have some wall breaks there for that as well. But this is where it gets interesting. Start the Lalo. Start it super nice. So keep your queen alive. Take a look at that. One loon and um, one hound, and then four to three loons on each defense. It's fine. If you're going, you see through the expo go with four or five loans and now you have the poison spell in case there was a cc or in case there is no cc and there is some of you know the air skellies now headhunters with that uh, last hound basically behind that warden with the warden ability and haste everything through with the warden ability that's the best way you can use the haste when everything is protected and make sure everything goes fast through the base we have three free spells guys and we don't even need to use it this was a pretty upgraded town hall um 12 and guys i'm doing my best to bring you uh, you know in masters 3 the best town hall 12s i can get like literally the bases are proper bases the town hall 12s are kind of maxed even and also i'm gonna bring you a town hall 13 as well okay so you can actually see how strong this strategy is on town hall 12 but let's move on to the next attack and see what is the base there and also how do you approach that kind of base all right, we are on this base. This guy is running a diamond base. We're gonna have a, a teaser base too, but take a look at how I'm deploying a hound when I want to take out the town hall in this case. You can see the empty spots in between the mortar, the archer tower, and the bomb tower. Those are the spots that could be trapped there, but now there isn't, but you know you have the hound for that type of situations. Now, I wanna land a bit to the back so I can go and grab the other expo, but the thing is, I actually didn't see that the other elixir storage on the top side could pull my wizards. So I tried to make that invisible, but it didn't work, and now everything gonna go to the top side and I want to make everything invisible again because the wizard was going out of the invisibility but let's see yes we took out the multi simple we didn't get too much value but still very decent one two expos multi and the town hall without the warden ability that is nice now you want to have the heroes to 
to dive into a certain area i'm gonna explain this why i'm going from the left when you know watching this but you are like going for that area because there is no expos if there was expos and if you go from the top side you're already gonna see like how much damage those two top side expos are gonna do to your heroes and this way guys there is no damage on the heroes they're gonna get further and further and further into the base one baby drag for archer tower because why not let them have it king and queen are gonna go in and take out the eagle i dropped some looms but i didn't actually see the sweeper so he pushed it and couldn't take out the wizard tower but it's fine queen will have to take care of the eagle and everything else king is gonna deal with uh, the inferno the single inferno but you can see i'm starting the lalo again i wanted to freeze for the king but I saw it so late. It's completely fine. We don't have the pets here today, you know. I'm used to the pets, okay, a lot of the times. But we have so many spells. Now, one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drop the poison on the queen with one hit hunter. But it didn't work too well still. We managed to get a lot of the HP out. Now, this is exactly, again, some type of warden ability. You want to haste and warden ability through the haste because it's the most value. And look at that. Warden level 27. This is where I use the boost. But still, the warden ability, it's very short amount of time that's why we haste through the loons so in that short amount of time they can cover the most defenses they can simple as that three swag freezes again i tried to make sure everything is frozen but it just didn't work man i'm gonna freeze these two and swag it and yeah simple as that i'm gonna try my best to explain exactly the different approaches and the sui and the loons like in one video i know it's gonna be like not too long but still i hope it just gives you the idea of how to deploy the loons and the lava hound in case it's your first time attacking with Lalo because Lalo is simply the best strategy in the game on every single town hall and you need to learn it. Alright, we are in this space and I'm gonna explain this real quick. The town hall, let's say it's not reachable with the you know blizzard and you cannot take it out. But this is what you do on teaser bases. The town hall is so much in the corner and this is how you're gonna get through this base. Blizzard, the middle or a bit, if, if there was trap there, we would have landed even earlier but you saw how much time i had on the invisibility and the race flow that the wall breaker would give you access to a lot of the stuff guys and now the wizards are doing beautiful job to take out the core of the base nicely and this is when again you want to send the hero somewhere that there is no expos look at the top side there's an expo and there's a cc i don't know if i pulled the cc even so it's not a very ideal way to start the hero i'm going with the king and queen and ice golem i want to have some good wall breakers so i'm dropping in one by one to see if there's any traps another one i have to drop i'm still not used to the levels of these wall breakers i don't know how many i need for that wall so i'm going one by one now man okay so a few more wall breakers there i wanted to give some damage to that wall i knew it's not gonna take it out but now with that one goblin you can drop and go for that wall man so it's simple as that that goblin was a very nice one so it can open that whole side but i wanted to pop the king ability a bit earlier so i had to freeze that and this is where it gets interesting you want to lolo through the town hall three to four loons for each defense drop the hound a bit so it can go behind the town hall in case there is tornado freeze the town hall always at the beginning so make sure your warden ability gets through it with a nice haste again simple it's all comes down to the experience guys you're gonna practice this a few times but you saw how we got through the town hall nicely and again we have some loons we have three more spells one being a poison spell which is completely useless if you know the enemy doesn't have a cc you can use it on the heroes in your sui it's so nice to have all the heroes very slowed down and now absolutely crush this base with all these loons and guys is it me or the level like is it eight or what yeah it's level eight i believe the level eight loons they look so clean man they're red all right i tried my best to find a maxed town hall and uh, 12 but sorry i wasn't gonna say town hall 15 but town hall 12 this is a max town hall 12 except the walls but we are lolloing we don't care about the walls so this was the closest to the max i could get now look at this hound for man angle to go with the blimp to go with an angle but take a look at that tornado and i landed the blimp on the other side of the wall you saw how late i dropped the invis even my wall breaker is still alive with that invisibility but guys this was baited i want to mention this against a max town hall 12 you might get baited sometimes but let's see what you have to do you can see now i'm going to go from the right side 
What that means is because I'm going there, it means my queen can reach the town hall if I wall break right there. You saw that because the queen can reach three tall afterwards. That's completely fine. Now with some loot, some minions, some archers to clean up and also do some funneling so the heroes go deep into the base. One or two more wall breakers. I'm still again not used to the wall breakers yet, but it's fine. I'm getting there with the super wall breaker. It's just too simple. You can easily get through that, you know, first wall, but don't wall break the next wall. Okay. Because your heroes could go wrong. I want to make sure the heroes go exactly for the town hall and nowhere else. And again, we're going to start the Lolo even before I pop the king ability. So again, now the poison spell helping you with the skellies. Queen is going to go through the town hall, some loons and the warden on the other side. Three to four loons again for each defense. I'm going to freeze the enemy queen and the town hall because I don't want extra damage on my loons and everything going smoothly again with the haste bow and the warden ability. This is the best composition you can get in, you know, Lalo and it's everywhere. Every pro is using it. Use their free spells wisely and guys, Again, we're gonna swag these spells. We don't need them to be honest. My queen is alive. That's crazy. So starting early, it's always nice because even if your loons die, sometimes you're gonna have your queen with her ability even for the back end to try and destroy this base. We got baited and we still managed to triple. That's how strong this strategy is. But for the next attack, I want to showcase a Town Hall 13, which has a, you know, a Royal Champion, I believe so, and two scatter shots, and we don't even have a single like extra hero. But you're gonna see how strong it is, and how exactly you can execute this plan on a Town Hall 13 in case you want to get some loot or it's in front of you in a war map. All right, we are here with the Town Hall 13. A lot of the defenses on Town Hall 12. So a few defenses in Town Hall 11. One scatter shot being upgraded. Decent hero levels, to be honest, but a bit low. But two scatter shots, which one of them is working. It's just sometimes a, a, a very pain, okay? But you saw the air defense in the core, making sure I can reach that blizzard into the core. This is something very nice, but play with your invisibility. Drop one a bit to the right, drop one a bit to the left, so make sure everything is now invisible. So my wizards go for the expo, then the town hall. Now I drop the invisibility to the left, so they can actually take out the town hall and move away from it. Simple as that. And now, where do you want to sue you again? You saw, as I told you, don't go for that expo if there is an early expo. I can see I can use the baby dragon with the funnel because the lower side had some collectors. So I have two sneaky goblins in this army so you can easily, just easily, completely funnel your heroes nicely. One ice golem with the king. I'm still not used to the queen not having the unicorn because the unicorn on the Sui is just nice. I can use the queen like for the half of the base and she won't die. But now here is a bit different. I need to make sure the queen doesn't get too much damage because her HP is not going to go back up. Now, while breaking for the king, he's gonna go in, take out the RC. I know the RC is level 4. It is what it is, man. I just wanted to showcase the town of 13 because I believe this was the hardest town of 13 I found like in this league. I, I, I'm not too high up, but I think I'm pretty high up, but I just couldn't find it. And now we're going in with the Lolo early again. Some loons. Three to four loons for each building make sure i freeze everything and i was you know freezing the scatter i was just trying to show you that even if it was working the like the scatter was completely like up i could have just gone and smash through the space so nicely take a look at my spells too many spells left and warden ability with the haste easily as that two loons for the back end but it's good something happened like something interesting has happened those two loons completely destroyed <laughs> it was funny man but nothing left on the corners always before you drop all your cleanup guys few archers and a few minions always have that and then wow those two heroes are alive still after all that base town of 13 base oh i know it wasn't a max town of 13 okay but you saw the power man and that was it guys let me know if i should do more videos on tunnel 12 strategy and maybe some tunnel 12 bases i already have a few bases ready so i could bring a video very early on but i need to know your opinion on how this video was for you if you learned anything if it was interesting even or if there is any support in tunnel 12 really because i've done a tunnel 13 not too much of a tunnel 13 like community we have here 
but tunnel 12 i think we have a quite a bit of community like we have quite a lot of people but that was it make sure you subscribe to this channel for more content and also i'm gonna have some links as always on your screen right now make sure you copy them the link of this strategy will also be down below in the description and i hope i see you soon on the next one so take care and peace